When we did um, unpack the data as management at Child Australia, we looked at how it aligned really, really well with the national quality standards um, and the commitment to quality improvement and an ongoing cycle of improvement. So for us, it wasn't about doing anything extra. It was just around aligning our key priority areas with the areas that our community um, needed support with. And we used both the quantitative and the qualitative data to come up with goals that are going to support learning and development at our Lockridge campus. When we did uh, look at the data, we decided that we wanted to focus on one area because we thought it would be a lot better to do one thing well than to try and look at lots of different areas. So our focus was on physical well-being, uh, looking at children both from a nutritional and health perspective and also their growth and fine motor skills. From employing Claire as our um, nutritionist at the campus, we then looked at our environments and thought about whether or not they were conducive to healthy eating and having a positive approach to healthy eating. So we revamped our children's cafe and made it more inviting and pleasing for the children. So using our children to create posters around healthy eating and physical activity, putting plants on the tables um, and also encouraging the children to try a lot of new foods that they may not have tried before. She also not only educated the children but educated the families and the educators around um, healthy eating and physical activity. We're using the AEDC um, data to make some informed decisions about our programming planning for the children. One of the things that we're really keen to explore is sitting down and mapping what the ADC results mean for the community um, and identifying the areas that we can, as, as a, at a service level, actually be able to support the children and families in. For example, if there was an area that we discovered that the children were vulnerable in, so perhaps the social and emotional domain, we might together sit down and think about how we can use that information to really plan and make some informed decisions for the children. So we might look at implementing a program like Happy Feet, which not only looks at their physical development, but also encourages that social play. Another way that we're, we're intending to use the ADC results is it can actually support us in applying for funding applications for the children and the community in this area. So by looking and analysing the information from the ADC, we can actually see if there's any gaps existing here in the services that we're providing for the children. And that um, helps us and supports us putting forward a really strong case in a funding application. We know that um, the children in our community come from sometimes difficult family backgrounds, um, but the AEDC enable us to quantify uh, where the vulnerabilities lie and break it down into the different domains. So having that information then enables us to better cater for them once they start here. We know that um, some of the vulnerabilities of our students lay around the physical health and wellbeing. So we've put a number of things in place to address those vulnerabilities. So we have lots of opportunities for them to do uh, play-based activities which focus specifically on their um, physical uh, strengths and building those um, core strengths within them. We also have lots of health programs, so we have um, specific health and, and physical education with our early years. We have a uh, breakfast club um, and health and nutrition activities that the students get involved with. We've analysed the data around the AEDC, so staff are really well aware of where our students are coming from and some of the difficulties that they might face. We've done some understanding poverty PD um, and staff have a really strong focus on the health and wellbeing um, and social and emotional wellbeing of our students. Um, staff are very compassionate, um, spend a lot of time building relationships with both students and with the parents and families. Um, and that's led to um, significant improvements in, in our students' health and wellbeing. We also look at the AEDC data with the community partners, in particular the Child and Parent Centre that's located on site here. Additionally, we uh, share the data across the schools in the area. So there's a network of um, principals who meet on a regular basis and one of the areas that we look at is the AEDC data and look for commonalities and differences across the community and we've also um, started to look at changes in the community over a period of time. 
To find out more on how you can use the AEDC data to inform your planning, visit the Western Australian Department of Education or AEDC website. <laughs>